Ooh. What happens to your muscles if you eat natto regularly? That's something I'm going to talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Hachiak Takamiya. I am the author of Natto Unleashed and Ikigai Diet. Okay, so I've been talking about natto a lot in this channel. channel. How natto is a protein powerhouse for vegans and vegetarians. In fact, natto is a great source of uh, plant-based protein. Yeah. Um, so how about for non-vegetarians or just meat eaters or people who like to grow their muscles? Yeah. Does natto support muscle hypertrophy? Okay, so that's something I'll be talking about in this video. Yeah, I'll be giving three important points. So please watch until the end. Thank you. All right, so when you think about muscle growth, yeah, most of you think of chicken or uh, eggs. Yeah, in fact, I used to go to the gym, I used to work out, and then uh, often people talked about, you know, eating a lot of chicken and eggs, you know, they're good for you and so on, yeah? Um, now, so how about natto then, yeah? One great thing about natto is that it is a source of plant-based protein. Why does it matter? Well, because excessive intake of only animal-based protein can cause an excessively acidic, acidic internal pH leading to kidney and liver dysfunction and weakening of bones, right? So incorporating natto can diversify your protein intake. Now, let's look at the protein content of natto per 100 grams. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, it's even close to salmon and beef, right? And then if we compare to other plant-based protein sources, natto is a lot higher than most of them, yeah? So if we want to include some plant-based protein sources, natto is your go-to food, yeah. And two, natto is a fermented food, and it can inhibit inflammation and protein breakdown. Now, Fermented food is in the lime right now, and we all know it is good for our gut microbiota, but also it can inhibit inflammation and protein breakdown, which is critical for your muscle growth. And then three, natto increases the upper limit of muscle growth, yeah? Now, so vitamin K found abundantly in natto enhances bone density and muscle growth. A study by Dr. Francis Edward Holly in 2009 investigated the relationship between skeletal and muscle mass among athletes. The study revealed that for every one kilogram increase in bone weight, up to five kilogram of muscle could be maintained, suggesting that a high bone to muscle ratio facilitated muscle growth. Right, so therefore, as a plant-based protein source, natto can diversify your protein intake. And as a fermented food, natto can inhibit inflammation and protein breakdown. And with its high vitamin K content, natto can improve your bone density, which can increase the upper limit of muscle growth. Yeah. So you don't need to replace meat with natto, but adding natto can help your diet tremendously because it great it gives a balance. Yeah. In fact, when you think about bone health too, muscles and bones are connected. Yeah. So it makes sense that if you work on your bone, it can also help your muscles too. Yeah. In fact, everything in your body is connected, right? You cannot, you know, think of it separately. Yeah. Therefore, uh, it's important uh, to work on your gut microbiome, work on your blood circulation, and work on your bones to help your muscle grow as well. Right. So in that sense, natto can help you tremendously. All right. So to answer the original question, does natto support muscle hypertrophy? Yes, it does. Natto does support muscle hypertrophy. Now, so 
for more about the health benefit of natto in general, yeah, please read my book, Natto Unleashed. Yeah, the book also contains many natto recipes and where to buy natto, DIY natto, navigating natto taste, and natto hacking. Okay, so the bottom line is, yeah, you don't need to replace meat with natto. Just add natto into your diet and it can help your uh, original diet. Yeah, right. Okay, so thank you for watching. Again, my name is Sachi Takamiya, the author of Natto Unleashed and the Ikigai Diet. If you like this video, please give me your thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And please leave your comment, yeah? Uh, what kind of food do you eat as a source of protein? Yeah? All right. I'll see you in the next video. Live with your Ikigai!